Hello everyone, welcome back to more Elton Ring video. In this video, I will show you my level 150 Eleonora Pole Plate build. In this build, I will use Eleonora Pole Plate as my main weapon and use Flame Grand Me Strength, also Crystal Tears to increase my attack power. If you're looking for arcane build that can do successive attack and inject blood loss build up to deal massive damage, then this build is for you. So let's get started. For weapon, I like to use Eleonora Pole Plate, a twin plate that scale primary with strength, dexterity, and arcanes. This weapon have weapon skill called Blood Plate Dance, which allow you to perform a flurry of tornado likes attacks while leaping into the air. What I like about this weapon is that you can do successive attack easily to inject blood loss build up more faster. As a part of Bloody Finger Hunter Yura Questline, this weapon can be obtained by defeating Eleonora Violet Bloody Fingers at the Second Church of Marika. For incantation, I like to use Flame Grand Mistrain that can boost physical and fire affinity attack power up to 20%. This incantation can be found behind four gale on a body between two maneuverable flame towers. For a seal, you can use the most basic one like finger seal can be purchased from Twin Maiden Hush at the round table hold for 800 runes. You can also use two crystal tears combination to temporarily boost your attack power. With Thorny Cracket Tear can make your consecutive attack grow stronger in mixed physics for 3 minutes. Another one is with Flame Shrouding Cracker Tear, can temporarily boost your fire attack power up to 20% for 3 minutes. For Talisman, I like to use Rotten Wing Sword Insignia that can greatly raise your attack power with successive attack. Next is with Lord of Blood Exultation, can raise your attack power by 20% for 20 seconds when blood loss occurs in the vicinity. Another one is with Shard of Alexander, you can greatly boost the attack power of skill by 15%. Last but not least, by using Millicent Prosthesis, you can increase your dexterity by 5 and raise your attack power with successive attack. For level 150 build, you can fill up the basic requirement for Eleonora Pole Blade Weapon. In this build, I put 40 in Vigor, 30 in Mine. 21 in text, 15 in fight so I can cast Flame Grand Mistrain Incantation, and 75 or more in Arcane to increase my attack power. For armor, I like to use Banish Knight Armor, and for Helm, you can wear White Mask to slightly raise your attack power when there is blood loss nearby. The way this will work is first you can consume the Crystal Tear and cast Flame Grand Mistrain Incantation to boost your attack power. Then start attacking the enemy with your weapon or perform the Blood Blade Dance weapon skill to inject blood loss build up more faster.
for more Elden Ring video, don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe button.